Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a pretty awesome fifth wheel for you. This is gonna be a luxury bunk model. This is the 2023 Cedar Creek 375 BHO. Hope you guys enjoy it. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video along with my contact information. Uh, but as always, if you guys like RV content, like what I'm doing, find some value in it, consider helping me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers this year by hitting that like and subscribe button. That'd be pretty darn cool. But uh, I'm gonna jump right into it. Got a baseball game I'm uh, nearly late for, so I got about 20 minutes here. But again, it's the 2023 Cedar Creek 375 BHO. And right when you walk in, bam. Absolutely beautiful kitchen, reworked island for 2023. The Murphy Pantry. This is in the old Bahama decor. And if you guys ever watched the old cartoon, Johnny Bravo, this is definitely his favorite decor. I always picture, you know, he says, oh, mama. I think of the Bahama mama. I don't know. A right, little side thought there, but I think that was pretty cool. So the Bahama decor, really unique floor plan for this one. So this is going to be your super slide. I am six feet tall for reference. So I'm going to put that slide somewhere like around, you know, six, four, six, five-ish. So even your tall people will be happy with the slide height. But you have recliners, a little bit of storage, cup holders, more storage, and then kind of that L couch, which is sitting directly across from the TV, which is nice. That's kind of going to be the Papa Bear setup. That's where I would be hanging out. Fully tinted windows in the Cedar Creek, and you're going to notice each one does open up so you can get a nice little cross breeze. And they're also going to come with the day shades to block out a little bit of the sun. And then the Dracula shade to knock out all the sun. I think even this part's looking pretty cool. The valances got kind of that gold little speckled look right there. So that's nice. Uh, two USB ports. Or I'm sorry. It's one USB port and one universal C. And then the uh, regular outlet. So if you got to plug in any devices. It's also going to be a little bit of storage there underneath as well. But like I was saying, uh, new reworked island. You got that sleeker design. You're going to notice in general, it is a lot lighter and brighter than years past. They went away with the dark tones, added in that light and bright. You got the accent lighting there up on the roof. The new kind of prism look right there with the residential uh, fan as well. The island. Now I'm missing the sink. I had to pull that out. We got to do a little warranty work on that, replace it. It was just kind of dripping a little bit. Another USB and outlet. This right here kind of kicks out. And it'll stand up like that when you put those legs out. But nice little kind of breakfast bar. I imagine if you guys are setting up some drinks for the campground, that would be a perfect place for that. You're also going to notice solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Residential style refrigerator and the insignia. Enough storage to absolutely pack away a week's worth of groceries. You know, absolutely no problem. With a little bit of storage there up above. You're also going to see more storage here next to the industry's largest oven, the Insignia. So you get your four stove top burner and then check out all the room in that. I mean, you could literally cook a turkey in that bad boy. Absolutely no problem. Same storage, both left and right with that little shelf in there. And then you also get this as well. And then also, if you didn't notice, you got the soft clothes. You don't have to worry about any little fingers, you know, pinching. Outlet, outlet, the new backsplash for 2023 is also looking pretty sharp. The Insignia microwave with the same storage, both left and right, and a little bit more there above. And then also for 2023, which I think is pretty cool, you do get the Murphy Pantry. So the Murphy Pantry is a little bit different. You got your Insignia TV, a little shelf. They slim down the fireplace so that it makes more room. Still puts out 51 or 5300 BTUs of heat. But then check this out. Pretty darn snazzy. So more storage, and I'd probably put like book racks or magazines or something right there, but I thought that is a pretty awesome feature and it's definitely a major selling point, you know, for someone like me. The other side of the island here, you got more outlets, tons of pull-out drawers, so you're gonna get four of these. Dual stainless steel undermounted sink, and these are gonna be the little drying racks for it. And then underneath, you get access to your plumbing and some additional storage. They even toss in a little uh, little garbage can. All right, over here, more accent lighting, more countertop space, a drunk drawer, another little you know area to stuff away some things, and then 
this is pretty awesome. So already there's a ton of good storage. And you see the left side just a little bit deeper where that, um, that bathroom cuts in. So new to 2023, aside from the aesthetics, you're also going to get a little bit better solar. Uh, you're also going to get the tire pressure monitoring system. You can opt in to have better you know, water heaters and things like that as well. So some really nice, nice changes. You got a slide back here in the bumper in the bunk out bunk house room. Jeez, oh, Pete's that pulls out to make a bed. There is going to be emergency exit there with the day and night shades. And then you have a foldable. I'm sorry, I lied to you. Not foldable uh, due to the height, I'm assuming, uh, but another bunk. And again, I'm six feet tall, so really good head height. The kids also have an area where they can store a bunch of stuff. So dresser drawers, a TV. You got that bunk right here with all the plugins that you need for all the devices, a couple windows, and then another little loft up here as well, along with a fantastic fan, you know, to suck out the steam or the stink from the kiddos. Another little half bath right here with its own exit. And trust me, they won't escape at night. I am in sales. Little sink right there. Show off the old bowling gun, baby. Got bowling tomorrow and Wednesday. Got our bowling banquet. So hopefully, uh, you know, pick up some of my money. So that'll be nice. And then underneath here, I forgot to show you too. They got kind of like the little Harry Potter style closet. So absolutely massive storage space right there for some hanging items. You know, I guess where your, uh, you know, maybe your least favorite kid or guest could sleep in there. But all right, so that's the uh, the bunk room. We showed you here the kitchen and living room. Now let's head up into the bathroom and the bedroom. And if you guys have made it this far, if you wouldn't mind, uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Before we go into the bedroom though, so right directly in front of the entryway, you got your fuse box, a central vac system, and then right here is going to be uh, your Firefly system. So you can control all this from an app to the Myra app, but you can see you got the master lights, all the different lighting controls. And anytime you see an up or down arrow, that is to indicate that the light is on a dimmer. So all you do is click and hold and it'll dim it, you know, kind of up or down. Your HVAC system where you can control each room independently. And then your slide out, they're all color coded. So if you don't read real good, you can just follow the colors. And then all your network diagnostics, you know, and all that good stuff. A grab handle. And I like how they put the woodblock stairs as well with the little night lights. That brings us into the bathroom, which is actually a pretty good size for what it is. You can actually sit down on that toilet, you know, and do your thing. It's also going to be the old porcelain throne with the foot flush. Little closet space there to the left uh, with a place where you can hang up your towel. Another fantastic fan. And then you got a pretty good size shower with the Triglide Glass Series. And the Triglide Glass Series is nothing more than, you know, three panes of glass right here. So it opens up just a little bit more. And then one of the fanciest shower heads on a camper I've ever seen. You know, I really like the Cedar Creek's doing that. I think they probably took that from uh, the Road Warrior Toy Hauler. But I, I really enjoy it. And then for those of you that are a little taller, you got the sunroof right in there. Little medicine cabinet. A sink, which is on an angle to make it a little bit splash resistant, more access lighting. And then underneath here will be, you know, some more storage and access to your plumbing as well, along with a couple outlets. That brings us into the bedroom. You can get it with or without the carpet. I would say more people are buying it with the carpet than not. But you get a good sized bed here with some storage underneath. A couple reading lights and a couple windows, both of which... Uh, have the nightshades as well, and then you'll see USB and universal C charger, and then outlet and outlet. Little dresser drawer with the accent lighting, an emergency exit window, an outlet, and then right here is just a little bit of hidden storage, which is nice. Maybe put, you know, a gun or some jewelry or something like that. You got a TV, the insignia right there. Mirrored finish on the closet doors, which is always nice. I'm a big fan of that. Cadet space heater. So on a day like today, you know, it's 40 degrees out. Uh, between this and the fireplace that's down in your living room, it should be enough to really save you some money on some propane. You know, absolutely no problem. You're also prepped for a fully stackable washer and dryer 
If you do put the washer and dryer, you can actually remove this uh, section right here for your dryer vent. But if you don't have one, it doesn't take up or waste any space rather uh, for the closet. So I like how they did that. But you can see, you know, this thing is absolutely massive and you got the hanging rod there, you know, for some more hanging space. All right. You also got one of the two ACs right up in here. Uh, they also have the dump valve. So if you want to disproportionately, you know, hog all that cold air so the kids are kind of getting a little bit warmer, you absolutely can. You just open that up, let the floodgates open, or you can close it and send it evenly, you know, throughout the track. But again, this is the 2023 Cedar Creek 375 BHO. I know I ran through this a little fast, but little man's got a baseball. I got four kiddos. So it's, uh, yeah, we're running around. This is a crazy time of year for us, that's for sure. But he hit a couple dingers in his last couple games, so I'm hoping for another big one. Got a pretty hard team up from Chillicothe, apparently. He's a little worried about, but we'll see. So again, the specifications are down in the description of this video. Awnings with LED lights. You're also going to see you've got your frameless windows as well, which looks pretty sharp. And again, they are tinted. You got propane here behind this door, a leash latch for your furry buddy. You also get the pass through storage that shows off some of that aluminum construction. Back end of the central vac system, a little bit of maintenance behind there, outlet and cable. And then you got the tough flex flooring so you can kind of rough it up, you know, throw a toolbox in there. You'll be good to go. Cedar Creek step above steps and you see they got the Cedar Creek cut out there, which looks just really sharp in general. And on this one, we have the four camera safety system. So there's going to be one camera here, one right there, one on the other side, and then one heading up the back. This is going to be a dual axle fifth wheel as well. And we did put on the slide toppers, uh, which the slide topper, let me show you that, is that right there. So it's a piece of awning that goes over the top of the RV to stop any of the you know, debris from falling down and creating a leak. You're going to get a leak when a tree branch lands on there and then you close it up and you don't realize and it pops that seal. Pretty nice exterior kitchen. So you got the sink underneath here. You're going to have an LP quick connect. So that way, you know, you can hook up a grill. You're also going to see you got yourself a microwave storage there to the left and to above the microwave. And then you got yourself like a little uh, apple juice freezer or refrigerator. Fit yourself up a 48 pack in that bad boy. No problem. You got a hitch to pull, uh, you know, some extra storage. That's the rear observation camera. And then right there is going to be your Lippert on the go ladder prep. So 295 bucks, 285 bucks or so gets you the expendable, expandable ladder. Uh, so that way you can get on top, check your seals, check your slides. This is a fully walkable roof as well. So don't feel uh, bad getting up on top of there. No problem. You're also going to see you got the laminated sidewalls, which is nice. And then you got the armor, I think they call it Abcore for the bottom. There's basically it's six feet paneling. So that's going to be new for the 2023 as well. Sewer outlet connection, low point drain, galley, and the black tank are all going to be located right here. And then hopefully I can squeeze through here. I am a, uh, a round belly, but that's going through. Just rubbing the shirt a little bit. This is where you plug in the camper. You have your fresh water drain uh, just right underneath here. Back end of the hot water heater. And then this is going to be your docking station. So, you know, your front cap lights, uh, your black, your bath tank, your black tank flush, if you're not familiar with that. It's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. The controls for your satellite and cable, hot and cold water access for your outdoor shower, you know, city water, potable water, all that good stuff. Also on the Cedar Creek, you have the slam latch doors. Really nice and sturdy. And then here's going to be your battery tray right in there. Controls for your auto leveling are going to be right behind that door. And then you got a little bit of storage there up underneath. But guys, I plan on keeping my marriage nice and happy. So I'm getting the heck out of here. Thanks for putting up with a short tour today. But again, this is the 2023 Cedar Creek 375 BHO. My name is Hunter. Have a great night. See ya.